up to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel and welcome to my makeup basket for the week of october the 15th so we all know that last week i was what do i want to say what's the word i want to use i was i don't know but i pulled out like a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes to use last week and hold on i'm grabbing my basket but i pulled out a whole bunch of eyeshadow palettes to use next last for last week thinking yeah i'm gonna pull them out i'm gonna be putting palettes together and doing all this different stuff with it i did not use one what happened is that actually when i did my video last week um i had been having like horrible back pain but I was like, I'm going to do my videos anyway. I'm, I'm just like I am today. I have my heating pad on my lower back in my chair. Um, but when I got... No, so I think it may have started Saturday morning. And then Sunday morning, it wasn't any better. But I did my videos anyway. And then I ended up going to urgent care after that with this horrible back pain so i saw the doctor in urgent care and he gave me some 600 milligram motrin that is always what they want to throw at you and was telling me to do because i was already doing that you know they have that new dual action advil with the acetaminophen and ibuprofen together so i was doing that but he was like well let me give you a stronger motrin so he did but anyway i'm still using it 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 it, it takes the edge off but it doesn't take the pain away so um the next day i ended up not going to work and i am um, i had already had a an, a phone appointment scheduled with my rheumatologist just to follow up but i was telling her about what was going on and she had been looking at my chart anyway um and she was like well well because i have an issue with my foot too oh my god let's not even get into it um, but she was asking me, did they do x-rays? Did they do this? Did they? I was like, no. She was like, okay, well, we're going to get you an x-ray. We're going to get you some physical therapy. We're going to get you some acupuncture. I said, well, can you give me some days off from work? Because this is just one day past treatment. All he gave me was one day off. So I ended up being out for the whole week. Miserable up until maybe Wednesday. And I started feeling a little bit better. Um, Thursday was okay. Saturday, which was yesterday, back was still in a lot of pain. She also gave me Flexoril, so I took the Flexoril. FYI, it made me sleepy one time. Um, other than that, I think it does a decent job of taking the edge off the pain, but the pain is still there. Needless to say, that's why I ain't used none of these palettes last week or none of this makeup last week. Because I didn't go out of the house except to doctor's appointments. So, end of my sob story. But, this Fall Magic palette you will see tomorrow in my Monday morning makeup. Because I decided it had been in my basket way too many times without me using it. So, I did use that for my Monday morning makeup. Now, I can take it out of my palette. I'm just going to quickly go through the rest of the palettes that I did not use. And we'll move on. Um, Sydney Grace Loves Journey, Urban Decay Naked, uh, this one I did use because I use it in my Monday morning makeup and this is a face palette from Tarte from I think Christmas last year and we did not use the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2. The Gourmand Girls in Doodles by the Bunny Spooked. I am leaving these things closed because it is definitely... My contact lens is driving me crazy. But that's Spooked. It is definitely time to be using these things. Um, I did not use this palette, which is the Tartlet Little Juicy palette. 
I did use in my Monday morning makeup the Tarte Lip Little Toasted Palette. I did not use the Natasha Denona <laughs> Trio Chrome. Nor did I use the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. Now this Cranberry Palette, let me just go ahead and let that stay in there. I have all these mascaras over here that's um, kind of taking up space. Um, so that is it for the things that I did not use last week. Um, what I did use was my Bare Minerals Bare, Bare Pro Foundations. And my Tarte Shape Tape Concealers, which these are going to stay. I did use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, Volume 3. Um, let's see. I did not use, did I or did I not? The LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush in Self Love. My blushes, I think, are going to pretty much stay the same this week. So I'll just show you those again. And I did use, I believe, the um, Kaleidos. What are these? They're Space Age Highlighters in the shade Solar Sailor. And that is the one that I showed you. It looks white, but it goes on gold. And... That is it for the things that I did not use. So now I am going to be using a newer foundation. Okay, we have it in mess. We'll fix that later. Um, and this is the Doll 10 Doll Skin Genius Serum Skin Tint with Reishi Mushrooms. And I have this in the shade Deep. And I did use that in my Monday morning makeup. <laughs> and I have the Danessa Myricks um, Yummy Skin Universal Blurring Balm Powder here I've only used that one time so I pulled that out I have the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder in Tan or Independent. And I also pulled out one of them, fell on the floor one sec. The Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wands. I have one in Aurora, which I used in my Monday morning makeup. And I have one in A Gleam. So we're going to those in there I have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the shade 370 and that looks like that and that might be used as a setting powder or it may be used as just a quick brush on my face foundation I pulled out two bronzers from um, Fenty Beauty one is the um, Sunstalker in Coco Naughty. And then I have a cream blush from her in the shade Teddy, which looks like that. And my blushes are the same from last week. I don't know if you want me to go over them or not, but let's do that real quick. We have the Maracuja Juice, Juicy Blush in the shade Orchid, which I got from BoxyCharm and didn't use last week. The Lip Bar Glow On Highlighting Blush in the shade Top Shelf. And I was saying I hadn't used that because it was in the highlight drawer and I don't know why. The RMS Beauty um, Redimension Hydra Powder Blush in the shade Sangria. The Sisley Le Fido Blush in the shade Coral. The 
we talked about this already lys cream blush in self love i think i did use that though i think i did so i'm gonna pull that one out um the house labs blush in the shade um acai sky which i use in my monday morning makeup And I think that is it. And um, so what I do want to show you all is something that I caved and went on and got before the Sephora sale because the Sephora is not going to have what I really want. So I just went on and got this one anyway. Um, this is the <laughs> Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palette with the owl packaging and with the contents of the snake palette. Yep, I got it. Use that in my Monday morning makeup. I also pulled out again to go ahead and use up the By Mario. I never remember the name of this. Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade Deep. I need to go ahead and use that up. Um, and one lippy that I pulled out. I haven't pulled any lipsticks for this week probably going to just use the ones I had from last week because I didn't get a chance to use them but I did pull this one out and this is from House Labs and I got this from BoxyCharm it is the Le Monster Lip Crayon and it is in the shade Berry Matte so that's what I have on my lip so that's going to stay also I don't have any other lip products to show you the rest are eyeshadow palettes and the eyeshadow palettes are pretty much small eyeshadow palettes this week except this one which this is the sunlit seduction I mean I still consider this I mean the packaging is big but there's only like 10 shadows in here but this is the sunlight seduction palette and I wanted to get back into that and the rest of the palettes are going to be small We'll put that right there. Um, I do have another Pat McGrath palette, and this is the Celestial Odyssey Luxe Quad in the shade Bronze Borealis. And it looks like this. So, hooray for small palettes this week. I have two um, Juvia's Place eyeshadows that I'm just going to be using eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be using together is their six pan palettes and I have one in the chocolates and one in the nudes and because these stay up there on that shelf over there it's almost like it's a display and I forget I should be using them but this is the chocolates and then this is the nudes so as you can see the nudes are very light so we need the chocolates to go with the nudes so we'll slide those in there and then I have two eyeshadow palettes from St. Angel's Centers. One of them I purchased on a pre-order a while back. And it, it like took an extended amount of time past what she said to um, deliver. So she also gave me a free palette. So the one that I purchased is called Kazi. And then this is what ooh, it looks like on the inside. And then the one that she sent me is called Doll Face. And it looks like this. Oops. It looks like this. And this is what this looks like on the inside. So this looks like a fall palette to me. Except that shade in the middle. Let's swatch that shade in the middle. Because I'm sure it's pink. Or, mm -hmm. It's oh, it's gorgeous. It's a duochrome, but this turns, or maybe it's more than a duochrome, because you see, I see like a pinky, oh God, I wish I could show you. Is there a mirror in here? Sometimes this works, sometimes it does not. Yeah, it works. So that's the shade, the purple shade, or pinky purple shade that it kind of turns into. So that's pretty so I think this is it I think this is everything 
that is going to be in my makeup basket this week. Definitely not the um, ambitious goal that I tried to set, set for last week. But, yeah, but this is it. And that is what I will be using this week. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, to subscribed, please hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.